I'm in Windows 11, and if you'd like to have a smoother scrolling experience and video experience, you may want to change your refresh rate. So I'm going to right click anywhere on the desktop and choose display settings. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says advanced display. Now I'm going to go to the monitor that I'd like to change. And we can see I can choose a refresh rate. Now, if I hit the drop down, you can see all the supported refresh rate options. Now, mine might look different than yours because I may I have a different video card, I have a different monitor than you have, and so you're going to see different options than I am. Interlaced means that you're going to get an even more smooth type of experience because the lines are interlaced with each other, but it does use more power. So for a laptop, that might be an issue, but for a desktop, it might be okay. The faster the refresh rate, the better the quality is as well. However, if you go faster than what the monitor is supposedly be able to uh, handle, then it could wear it out a little bit more quickly. I'm going to change it to the 60 hertz interlaced, and you see it blinks out for a second, and then I'm going to click Keep Changes. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to go into some various different programs, applications, and see if it's any better. Now, I can see that my screen is a little fuzzier than it was before, so I'm going to change it to 59.94 hertz interlaced and see if that one's any better. I'll click change and still quality wise, it's still not quite as good as it is with the original. And now it's back to the best quality. Now, in my case, mine picked the best quality by itself, but in your case, it may not be that way. So go ahead and try them all out. And if you get to a point where the screen blacks out and doesn't come back, then just restart your computer and then uh, it'll go back to the way it was the, to the default settings. So that is how you change your refresh rate in Windows 11.